Hello again everybody and welcome back. Boyd here with you and welcome to another edition of TrekWorks. I'm making some really good progress on our Enterprise Into Darkness model and I've been working the last, uh, I worked on this a little while yesterday and you can see I've got quite a bit done here. I've got pretty much all the wiring and most of the wiring harness installed in the uh, saucer. We've got the um, secondary hull attached to the saucer now. We've got a lot of our painting done, a lot of our seam work has been done here on the top and the bottom and I've started to mount in these uh, strobe lights uh, in various places. I've been using some uh, video reference from YouTube. There's actually a nice little video out there on YouTube for this uh, that's been taken from the uh, uh, one of the Star Trek DVDs which shows the uh, video tour of the uh, uh, 2009 Enterprise and that uh, gave me a lot of information uh, about uh, where to locate some of these flashing strobes and uh, the different lighting locations on the model. And I just wanted to talk about a little bit of what I'm doing here. You can see here I've got the um, impulse engine set up here. What I did to this is I drilled out the, uh, the uh, impulse deck on this model is an opaque piece. It's not molded in clear plastic. So I drilled all those out and got that kind of nice honeycomb effect. I used my little uh, pin vise here with a really small bit on there to keep the holes nice and small and uh, it really looks nice. It almost looks like a photo etch part. And I'll show you that here in a, uh, when we light this up. I've got my harness routed through here with my spinning bassards, and I'm going to be working on that a little bit later today, getting this set up. Now I've decided to uh, mount these in the nacelles behind the uh, plastic uh, bulkhead that sits in there and uh, paint that bulkhead black so that it'll kind of look like those lights are flickering behind that. And we'll hopefully get kind of an illusion of that black disc that we saw inside the bassard that was spinning. And here what I've done is I've just uh, cut out a piece of sheet styrene and I've uh, wired this in with some LED tape on the top and the bottom here. Now basically this is going to get glued to the bottom side of the saucer top just beneath the bridge so that these lights here will light up the uh, bridge area and the bottom ones of course are going to light up all the planetary sensor and everything. So this is just kind of laying in here right now. And I've got to come back and I've got to hot glue down all of my wiring here but you can see I've got the board mounted. It fits in here really nice and the harness is routed through for the uh, facades and uh, power is coming in. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now for you and you can see all that flashing strobe light. Now there's a lot of strobes on this ship. You can see that we've got uh, basically one, two, three, four, five of them on the bottom of the saucer. There are uh, five more that are on the top. I noticed uh, that there aren't any red and green navigation lights on this model on the edges of the saucer like we're used to. Uh, there is one more that's located at the rear of the bridge, which is actually the slower flashing navigation style light, which we usually we see a flashing strobe there, but in this case it's exactly the opposite. So I've got that mounted in the bridge top, and uh, we'll be setting that up on the other circuit for the navigation side, and it'll flash at a different rate. Uh, but you can see that uh, if I hold this up here, you can see that that's lighting the bottom of our planetary sensor really nice and the windows down there. We've got our lighting coming through really nice on the side windows. And I've got a strobe located here at the back. And I've got a uh, constant on there down at the bottom. And so we're just kind of working our way through this. Uh, what I'm going to be working on today is I'm going to get the mounting rod installed in that. I'm going to use a uh, small piece of wood. And we're going to epoxy that down inside the model here where the rod's going to come through and I'll get this so that it's up on the stand and we're going to uh, get ready to start doing the rest of the assembly and then once it's up on the stand we can work on it a lot easier and get everything assembled and then we're going to start doing our uh, once all that's done we'll start doing our Aztec paint work on this so everything is looking really good now let me see if I can turn this here for you without knocking my power out I've just got it kind of jury rigged here but I want to get you a shot of the impulse engines and I'll get this turned here a little bit and let me lower my camera down here so I can get zoomed in on it for you here. And hopefully you'll be able to see how that looks. You turn it just right here and you should be able to see the uh, You can see that's going to look really cool and we've got that uh, pulsating uh, red glow going on in there. The light's kind of bright in here. Uh, once the lights are down just a little bit it looks really really nice so I'm really happy with how that turned out. And uh, So everything's coming along really good here guys. 
I'm going to uh, be back here in just a couple seconds and we're going to show you a little bit more about what we're getting done. You can see where our bassards are working. Made sure to hook those up so that they're in on the right side. We've got the uh, uh, counterclockwise one on the port side and the clockwise one on the starboard side so they rotate towards each other like they're supposed to. But everything's coming along really good on this guy so I'll be back in a couple seconds and show you some more work that we're doing on the saucer top. And we're going to get that uh, glued down and put in place here so I'll be right back with that. All right, so here we are back after a little while, everybody, and you can see I've got more done on this one. We've got our uh, model mounted on the base now, and you can see that we've got uh, uh, our switches installed and everything. Now, what I've done in there is I've uh, mounted a small little block of wood, which I've drilled the hole and countersunk it so that uh, the rod will not pass all the way through it. The model will be sitting on top of that. And I've epoxied that uh, little block of wood inside the uh, hull here and I've used some 15 minute epoxy. It's curing up right now. That's why the model is uh, kind of all propped up here. It'll take a good half hour for that to dry really hard before we can start moving it or anything. So I'm going to let this sit for a couple of hours and then I'll come back later this evening and start doing some more work on it. And we'll show you what we're going to do on our next video update here. But uh, I'm going to next be uh, installing this little dorsal piece here at the top of the pylons and get our uh, wiring here uh, secured for the uh, Bassard effect so that we can start working on the engine nacelles. I've got a couple more wires to run up through there to uh, run power and a strobe circuit for the uh, lighting and strobes that are on the nacelles themselves. So we'll be doing that in the next video. I'm also working on the top of the saucer. There are several more strobes that are going in that. I've just finished uh, painting the top half, uh, the base hull color, and we've got the bridge installed. And I've worked an SMD into that so that we'll get our nice floodlight effect on the uh, registration name and number at the top of the saucer like we did on the Enterprise refit and that's going to look really nice. And We'll show you all that in the next video. We've also got quite a few more strobes that we installed in that. So in the next video we'll be back guys. We'll be sealing up the saucer and uh, sealing up the rest of these parts here and doing a lot of other little details as we move along. So alright guys well that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you watching and tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll see you in a couple of days with another update on our Into Darkness Enterprise. So until then, take care everyone and happy modeling.